ANC Youth League have responded to U Bisman U Katie McKenzie. They are saying Katie McKenzie. La la la, we are not going to be able to do that. We are not going to be able to do that. We are not going to be able to do that. Oh guys, it's not me. It's not me. It's ANC Youth League. They are saying uh, when, uh, when uh, I'm Minister of Arts, Sports and Culture. No, please, 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 please mind your words. ANC condemnation of the Department of Sports, Arts and Cultures um, and ethical ele look, uh, actions under Minister Gaten McKenzie's leadership. This is them. They are saying the African National Congress Youth League, ANCYL, condemned the, rec the recent disgraceful actions and statements made by the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture under the questionable leadership of Minister Gaten McKenzie. It is absolutely unacceptable for a department that should be the stronghold of support of our national creative arts, uh, look, arts and dedicated superfans to instead engage in actions that lower and undermine those it is supposed to appear at the local uh, uplift. A ANC are speaking. They've said what, I, what they said. The question is, do you agree or disagree with what they're saying? Maybe that's, a, that, that's the first point of departure. Do you agree or you disagree with what they are saying? From where I'm seated, I am quite not sure where Gaten McKenzie is going. I'm, 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 I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie to you guys. I'm going to read the entire letter. Don't worry. But if you were to ask me where is Gaten McKenzie going, I will definitely give you a one-way answer and say I do not know where we are going. I'm a bit confused with his strategy. I'm a bit confused with his approach. Um, I don't agree with certain things. Like honestly speaking. Um, the the look at the super fans things. Uh, I, I just don't agree with it. Yes, you probably you probably you, probab you look. You should have probably sorted out maybe if there was a corruption in the process and make it uh, done in a legit way. But to scrap it off completely, I no 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 no. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. You know, we are saving money to help an uh, uh, upcoming art uh, like, uh, artist. They will forever be up uh, upcoming artist, guys. That's, that's a fact. Even in 2030, 2035, 2000, they will all forever be upcoming artist. There must be a balance between super, middle, and those who are upcoming. But, guys, we're on our journey to 60,000 subscribers. So, you need to do this to help if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed so the answer continued to say the department of sports arts and culture um the, the department of sports arts and culture's primary role is to create a nurturing environment for creatives and artists offering them the support they need to excel this includes recognizing and celebrating super fans like Mama Joy Chawuke, who passionately support our national team. Mama Joy Chawuke was notably honored as a fan of the tournament during a final Springbok versus New Zealand match in Paris Saint, uh, Saint 
Dennis, where she had made she, she had the opportunity to address the world as a proud South African super friend, super friend proclaiming my country, my pride. Creatives and artists play a crucial role in nation building, economic growth, and development. They contribute to the uh, cultural richness of our society and a vital to national identity. Oh, I agree. I agree. I can't, I can't disagree with them just because it is EANC. I agree. Support should be provided by the department to all deserving creatives, arts, and superfans, ensuring they are lifted and celebrated rather than shamed and embarrassed. We stand firm with Makats and all artists who have been impacted by these actions. The case of Makati, award-winning artist, who has publicly shared her experience of insufficient support from the government, despite receiving over 230,000 in performances fees for, from the department, highlights the glaring incompetence and dishonest within the department. The recent release statement by the department is a testament to this in, look, in, uh, look, incompetence and fails to address the real issue at hand. The unprofessionalism, the unprofessional ethics and uh, uh, international lack of consideration for artist dignity introduced by Gaten McKenzie, who is deployed by the Patriotic Alliance to the national uh, government, are not only unwelcome, but also outrightly um, contain uh, uh, the Parliamentary Committee on Sports, Arts and Culture must hold the department accountable for these actions. We demand that the department fulfill its duties uh, while upholding the principles of Batopili, ensuring fair and respectful treatment for all stakeholders. Okay? This is the statement from the ANC. Uh, guys, I agree with mo look, most of the things that are being said here. Uh, Gaten McKenzie should prioritize understanding the department and fostering the positive relationships with creative artists and superfans rather than attacking them. This situation underscores that it's only the African National Congress, that's why we disagree again, that can effectively lead the government. The ANC has proven track record of championing the right, uh, look at the rights and uh, interest of South Africans, including artists and creative, ensuring that they receive support and respect they deserve. The Parliamentary Committee on Sports, Arts, and Culture must hold the department accountable for these actions. We demand that the department fulfill its duties while upholding the principle of Batopili, ensuring and respecting treatment, uh, respectful treatment for stakeholders. The ANC Youth League will not sit back and watch the department abuse artists, creatives, and superfans. We will forcefully oppose and form an ex a look, exploitation of mistreatment to those who, who enrich our cultural uh, sporting heritage. In conclusion, the ANC Youth League reaffirmed its unwavering commitment in advocating for the rights and the dignity of South Africans' artists and creatives. We will continue to fight uh, uh, relentlessly, relentlessly for a look, for a. Um, cultural sporting environment where every artist receives the support and the recognition they deserve, free from unnecessary public scrutiny and financial exploitation, says the ANC. Right? You see, there's one person that landed us into this problem. It is, there's a man in that office called Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa does what we what um what my many institutions do the best, and that is called mismanagement of talents, mismanagement of the uh, 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 of capabilities. Here's an example. Gated Mackenzie's primary role or primary target was the office, and he has been clear on the matter that his interest is with the 
office with, with the, 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 the home affairs department. I was very passionate about it. We were surprised to be given Gaten McKenzie, who is now a minister of sports instead of the, being a minister of um, home affairs. It's very surprising. And at the same time, it's very questionable. The, app the appointment of Uulog. Why aren't people selected based on their capabilities and their passion? Because, you know, I've said, to, I've said this to uh, many of my fellow churchmates. And I said, one of the problems that we face a lot at church is, this, is the inability to cultivate good qualities from people. The inability to see raw talents and grow them in the church, for instance. You'll find that the, the other time they give you a person who's a preacher and you're like, they're saying this person must preach. And you're like, hey, I don't know whether this person is preaching, talking to himself. He's, you know what I'm saying? You just don't know what they're doing. And you can tell this person does not have a, a, capability, a capability of delivering any good sermon in the pulpit. And then you'll find that the one with the capability of delivering a good sermon is placed, deployed in a different department where you're like, but this person is supposed to be there and that one is supposed to be here. The mismanagement of, of talent and people with capabilities. Even in, 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 in even in, um, what is this word? Even in, even in, in this word, ne? Um, even in uh, a financial institutions, or let me say uh, organizations in general, sorry guys, uh, I'm, I'm just seeing this breaking news here, uh, and I, we need to talk about this one, so we'll talk about it some other time. So I'm saying to you guys, even organizations in general, whether be it in a government office, be it in, you know what I'm saying, be it a company somewhere, there's this problem of mismanaging things. Just because a person can speak doesn't make them a speaker. Please, 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 please. Just because people have, all of us have got mouth doesn't mean that we are all, all of us, we are bad. We are good at speaking. No, some people are horrible. You know, some people can't even give direct, proper direction. That's how horrible they are. But they still have the same mouth that they, a good speaker has. You know, they still have the voice, the tongue. Everything that that speaker has, from a physical point of view, they have it. Even from a voice point of view, which you can't see, we, we can only hear. They have it, but they cannot deliver a good speech. You take that person, you make them an MC. Hey, man. Mismanagement of talents, mismanagement of capabilities. That is what has landed us into this problem. Uh, wouldn't we have people who are very passionate about sport? It would have been nice to get a person who is a former player to head that department. Be it in rugby, football, tennis, netball, but a player, an athlete, a person like uh, Yabo, Wade Van Yike, you know what I'm saying? These guys who won Congress, Congress Marathon, Bong uh, Musa, it would have been nice to have people like that. Then you bring Gaten McKenzie. Instead of Gaten McKenzie, Protecting people's dignity, he exposes people's look. The, the, the approach is very aggressive. Very, very, very aggressive. And uh, but he is probably doing the right thing, but the nature in which, in which he goes about it is very aggressive. Um, and uh, look, you know, with aggression, sometimes you, you tend to do a mistakes. You tend to do some mistakes that are not, uh, look, it's unintended consequences. But you know what I'm saying? So... The approach here is very aggressive. I've got a problem with the approach. It's very aggressive, and I don't think it will yield the desired result. So, when all have been said and done, we are in this problem because of Ramaphos. He had maybe he chosen who Gaten McKenzie and placed him in a department that is passionate about, which is on my face. Probably he would have been handling things better than what he's doing now. Right now, it's born in summer flame. Exposing people's names. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Now the way he's going about it, mm, I don't know. He's building a name out of it. I don't know. But I, I, I'm not happy about how he's going about things. I don't think artists are happy as well. 
about how it's going. I, I don't think a lot of artists are happy, but what is going to happen is that if you lose these people, uh, the artists, if you lose them, and they start hating you, <laughs> and then you, when the elections are over, you want to campaign again. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs>